on, we could do something with this, but you can't take responsibility for anything! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movie performances that exceeded expectations. Yo, and it's the black people out here too. It's like all in Mr. Movement. Because <laughs> they probably hypnotized. Beep, beep, Richie. Yeah! For this list, we're looking at surprising horror performances by emerging actors and actors who aren't necessarily known for starring in horror films. This is your spoiler warning. Be sure to let us know what horror movie performances caught you off guard in the comment section. Number 10. Florence Pugh, Midsommar From fighting with my family to little women and this folk horror film, 2019 was definitely Pugh's year. Her character Danny joins her emotionally distant boyfriend and his self-involved friends to a Swedish commune after her sister took both her own life and those of their parents. So these are younger people from my village. They're also returning from their trips outside. At first, it seems like they're attending your average bohemian festival. Spirits, floral crowns and psychedelics. Only when the group witnesses a devastating ritual that they realize this festival is anything but normal. By the end though, Danny finds a rather strange solace in finally being able to grieve alongside the women in the community once she discovers Christian and his friends' devastating fate. <laughs> With a belligerent wail and a vulnerability that is somehow only surface level in most horror movies, Pew gives a harrowing performance that really sticks with you. Number 9. James McAvoy Split McAvoy was not a newcomer to the big screen by a long shot, but his role as Dennis, Patricia, Hedwig, etc. takes the top 24 spots in his best performances. My name's Hedwig. I have red fox. McAvoy's ability to switch in and out of eight different roles in the Unbreakable franchise's 2016 installment was simply disquieting and impressive. Yes, it is. With only wardrobe changes, he manages to slide in and out of personalities with ease, sometimes even in the same scene. Viewers feared for innocent dancing Hedwig, especially whenever Miss Patricia, the stern cardigan-clad warden, appeared to reprimand him and their captives. Put your hands together in contrition. But forgetting for a split second that they were all played by one person, even the Beast tricked our eyes into thinking he had metamorphosed, all because McAvoy's performance told us so. Thank you for helping us till now. Number 8. Essie Davis, The Babadook Aside from the creepy storybook illustrations, Davis is really the only conduit for The Babadook in this psychological horror flick as the monster's face is only briefly revealed. Her portrayal of Amelia's grief and sleep deprivation elevated the acting in the film, especially Noah Wiseman's, who played her son Samuel. Amelia invites you into her bleak world, which seems mundane at first. That is, until little Samuel has his mum read a storybook from hell to him one night. See him in your room at night. Mum, does it hurt the boy? As a woman essentially possessed by her own denial to address the grief that's manifested itself into a supernatural beast, Davis's portrayal of Amelia is so nuanced that there is no tangible villain per se. Jaw-dropping and sad to watch, her performance both scares you and concerns you. You little pig. Six years old and you're still wetting yourself. You don't know how many times. I wished it was you, not him, that died. Number 7. John Goodman, 10 Cloverfield Lane In the second instalment of the Cloververse, Goodman plays Howard, a paranoid recluse who gives shelter in his underground bunker to two strangers. Howard claims the outside world is tainted as a result of a chemical attack, but Michelle and Emmett remain suspicious of him, his story and his motives. I keep this door sealed at all times. Comes in or out. That is the magic that is Goodman's psychologically effective performance. His subtle and unsettling portrayal of Howard makes even the slightest movement seem deadly. What exactly do you think you're I'm, doing? I'm asking for pepper. Like hell you were. What was that? I don't know what you're talking about, Howard. You're trying to insult me here in the shelter that I built that's keeping you alive? 
You don't think I see what you just did? Goodman carries the bulk of the film by getting inside the characters' and audiences' heads. Is he a good man or not? What if he's the captor and not the savior? This is definitely not the Dan Connor we know and love. There's some things you can't prepare for ever. Number six, Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out. Kaluuya is an undeniably dynamic actor, but his lead role in Jordan Peele's directorial debut set the bar high. Do they know I'm, do they know I'm black? No. Yeah. Should they? In what could be called a nightmarish guess who's coming to dinner, Kaluuya plays Chris, a black man with repressed trauma that ends up being tormented by his white girlfriend and her depraved and racist family. Where are those keys, Rose? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? Different from most protagonists in horror movies, Chris never quite trusts the Armitage family's motives from the get-go. Kaluuya does much with less. His wide-eyed tears, wordless cries, and reasonable suspicion are the storytelling. He can evoke many layers of emotion and terror just by simply sitting in a chair. Thanks to that iconic hypnosis scene, Kaluuya has even made the sound of a spoon in a teacup triggering. It's right. Number 5. Bill Skarsgård, IT Chapter 1 Makeup is often used on movie monsters to pull off stark transformations, which means that audiences aren't likely to be put off by their favourite, usually glamorous actors turned boogie people. But in Skarsgård's case, his ability to turn his usually boyish and charming mouth into that creepy smile made him a perfect fit for this sewer clown. Pennywise? Yes, me Georgie. Georgie? Meet Pennywise. When the second film adaptation of the novel was announced, Stephen King fans were a bit skeptical about what actor could possibly fill the legendary Tim Curry's shoes. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. But from the first, hi, Georgie. All skepticism faded. His chilling mannerisms ended up pairing quite well with his unassuming charm, while the character's baby face design made him terrifying to watch. Time to float. Number 4. Tony Collette – Hereditary This cult-riddled supernatural horror was one of the most talked about movies of the year. Hi Louis! How did you do that? <sighs> Collette's performance as the grieving, diorama-making mother following the accidental beheading of her young daughter was the nucleus of every conversation about Hereditary. Colette's range of emotions, non-maternal-like spellbound characteristics, and that dinner scene monologue sucked the air thin out of any theater. I wish I could shield you from the knowledge that you did what you did, but your sister is dead. She's gone forever. The unimaginable horrors and pain Colette's character Annie was experiencing got under our skin, and yet we couldn't look away. Despite some scenes being mortifying for novice horror fans, Colette's acting takes the film's repulsive subject matter and cringy imagery to new heights, but not to an Oscar nod, unfortunately. Mommy, mommy, please, you, Number 3. Robert Pattinson – The Lighthouse Most of Pattinson's post-Edward Cullen films fall under the radar with mass audiences. But if you take a chance on indulging in his lesser-known non-Twilight-ish filmography, you'll find some hidden gems. Aye, sir. And The Lighthouse is a great place to start. In this psychological horror with elements of dark comedy, Pattinson embraces the film's seeming absurdity. The preparation he went through is apparent in the way his character reacts to Defoe's character's off-kilter behaviour. Dance, Winslow! Dance! It's almost as if you can progressively see the size of what he's repressed throughout the film, making that mental breakdown and his violent outbursts inevitable. You can't help but wonder what psychological toll rehearsals took on Pattinson for the actor to make the character's descent into madness seem so convincing. Ah! Do an I, Junior Man! And found in the lobster pot. Number two, Linda Blair, The Exorcist. 
Even in the 2020s, audiences still have a rough time separating Blair from her role as Reagan, the priest terrorizing demon possessed 12 year old. What an excellent day for an exorcism. You'd like that? Intensely. But wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? It would bring us together. And in the horror genre, that's actually a good thing. The makeup artistry of the late Dick Smith definitely helped to ensure that we can never seem to unsee some of the film's horrifying images. But at the time, it was the teenage Blair who became the face of horror for generations. Oh, it burns! Oh, it burns! To be so young playing alongside heavyweights like Max von Sydow and Ellen Burstein, Blair's performance was remarkable, and not just for her age. For someone with such a cute and innocent face, Blair's Pazuzu was a little too believable. We'd be lying if we said it still didn't get under our skin to this day. The power of Christ compels you! That the power of Christ compels you! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. John Krasinski, A Quiet Place. Shelley Duvall, The Shining. I just want to go back to my room. Why? <laughs> I'm very confused. Cheryl Lee, Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me. What is it, Laura? What's wrong? <gasps> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lupita Nyong'o – Us Remember that gut-wrenching feeling you got when you put the pieces together during that final scene and realized that the Lupita you'd been rooting for might not actually be good? Yeah, us too. I found my faith and I began to prepare. Just the fact that she played two characters in the same scene for a good portion of the film is impressive. Her portrayal of Adelaide and her scissor-wielding doppelganger, Red, is a highlight of Nyong'o's career. We've been waiting for this day for so long. I call it the untethering. In interviews for the thriller, Nyong'o said that she enjoys scaring people in real life. Well, she definitely succeeded as such. With the way she crafted Red's cracked voice to how she played both the villain and the hero, Lupita's performance is a masterclass for horror actors to come. And to think, if it weren't for you, I never would have danced at all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.